Oh, hi there. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. We've got some fun stuff planned today, so let's get started. All right, today we're going to do some counting together and really just thinking about numbers and what they mean. I hope that you've got some base 10 blocks with you and I've got mine here with me. And I'm gonna start off with my ones. I just call these little cubes units. It's like just one little unit. And what I'd like you to do is put nine of them out on your place value mat. So I'll put my nine there and then I'm going to build nine here. Just working in that tens frame pattern. I can see that that's five. You know how many more it will take me to get to nine, right? Nine, so we've got five. Let's count on. Six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. What I want us to think about is, what happens if I have one more unit that I want to put onto my mat? Let's try and see what happens. Oh my goodness, the alarms are going off because 10 cannot be in the ones column. We can only have nine. So now that we have 10 units and the alarms are going off, what are we going to do? Oh, you're right. It's not such an emergency after all. All we have to do is exchange these 10 ones for one 10. Phew, that was pretty easy. Let's show that we had nine, but we added one to it. And now we don't have any ones left and we have one 10. Zero, ones, and one ten. Okay, we're not gonna stop there. Let's do something similar, only taking it up a notch. What I'd like you to do now is build this number. Like that. I'm gonna build and you build. Make sure I have enough here. Now it's okay, my supplies are gonna go sort of off my place value mat. That's just fine, and yours probably will too. Whoop, jumping all around. Can you see that I did five up here and four down here because five plus four makes nine. Let's do that over here too. We have nine tens make 90, but we're gonna add nine ones. I've got five, let's count on. Six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> now you know me, I think you know what I'm about to do, right? Oh my goodness, I've got this one more unit. What do you think I'm gonna do with it? The bells and alarms are going off, my goodness. I don't think we can have all those tens in that column, can we? Oh, okay, you've got the solution. We're gonna exchange these 10 ones for one 10. Ah, emergency averted. We're gonna be just fine. Oh my goodness, the alarms are going off again. What's happening? We can't have more than nine in the tens column either, can we? So what's our solution? That's right, let's keep it easy and simple. We're going to take these 10 tens and we are going to exchange them for 100. I'm gonna set them here and we can take a look. If I'm looking at my rows or my columns, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9 and 10. I don't have any 1s. I don't have any 10s. I have just 100. And that's how we get our digits or our numeral 100. That's why it looks that way. That's it for us today. What I'd like you to do before you start your workbook and textbook today is I would like you to have your teacher give you random numbers. It might be 63. It might be 85. It could be, again, 99. And I want you to practice building those numbers for us today on your place value mat. And then would you do me a favor as you finish up? Do what we did here. Start off with nine ones and add a one till you get to 10. Then build for us 99. Add one more till you get to 100. We're just building our place value and our number sense and that's so important. All right, you have a great day and I'll see you here next time.